He is known for his Aristotelian nominalist views in logic and his empiricist approach in natural philosophy. He is recognized for synthesizing the physics theories of Buridan, Bradwardine, Dean, and Orsma in his commentaries on Aristotle. His theological and philosophical works showcase a logico-semantical approach influenced by Buridan, with an eclectic use of older theories. His name is Marsilius of Ingen. Marsilius of Ingen, a prominent philosopher of the 14th century, was a man of many philosophical influences. In his pursuit of knowledge, he embraced a unique blend of Aristotelian nominalism and empirical thinking. His commentaries on Aristotle showcased his ability to synthesize the emerging physics of his time, drawing from the works of Buridan, Thomas Bradwardine, and Orsma. However, Marsilius's philosophical and theological works were not confined to a single school of thought. Instead, he adopted a logico-semantical approach, heavily influenced by the ideas of Buridan. This approach allowed him to incorporate a diverse range of theories, sometimes leaning towards Aristotelian principles, and other times embracing Neoplatonic ideas. Marsilius' philosophical journey was far from being strictly labeled as alchemist, a term often used to describe his work. Instead, he transcended narrow categorizations, exploring the realms of logic, natural philosophy, and theology with an open mind. Through his eclectic approach, Marsilius left a lasting impact on philosophical thought, showcasing the power of synthesizing diverse ideas to create a unique worldview. Marsilius of Ingen, a prominent philosopher of the 14th century, was a pioneer in the field of nominalism. While the term nominalist was not yet coined during his time, Marsilius is regarded as one of its early proponents. He embraced the fundamental principle of nominalism, which posits that universals only exist within the mind, and outside of it, there are only individuals. This perspective challenged the prevailing belief in the objective existence of abstract concepts. According to Marsilius, human knowledge could be derived from sensory experiences. He emphasized the importance of grounding our understanding in what we perceive through our senses. By observing and interacting with the world, we can build a foundation of knowledge upon which further understanding can be constructed. This empirical approach allowed Marsilius to debunk the notion of universals existing independently of our minds. However, Marsilius believed that metaphysical knowledge held the highest value. He saw it as the pinnacle of our intellectual pursuits, as it allowed us to grasp the most universal propositions. In his view, metaphysics offered insights into the fundamental nature of reality and existence. By engaging with metaphysical concepts, we could gain a deeper understanding of the underlying principles that govern our world. Marsilius of Ingen's philosophy of nominalism has profound implications for our daily lives. It encourages us to question the abstract concepts and generalizations that we often take for granted. By recognizing that universals are constructions of our minds, we become more conscious of the individuality and uniqueness of each person, object, or experience. This awareness fosters a deeper appreciation for the richness and diversity of the world around us. Marsilius, a philosopher deeply influenced by nominalism and Aristotelianism, pondered the nature of scientific knowledge and its object. He recognized that the object of scientific knowledge must adhere to certain criteria. According to Marsilius, this object should be singular and align with Aristotle's concept of a necessary universal. Marsilius believed that universals, such as ideas or concepts, exist only in the mind. Building upon this nominalist foundation, he argued that the objects of science are predicates that exist within the mind and describe the individuals in the external world. In other words, scientific knowledge is derived from our mental constructs, which we use to understand and interpret the world around us. This understanding of the object of scientific knowledge has profound implications for our daily lives. It reminds us that our perception of reality is shaped by our mental constructs and interpretations. We often rely on scientific knowledge to make sense of the world and guide our actions. However, it is essential to remember that scientific knowledge is not an infallible representation of objective reality but rather a subjective interpretation based on our mental constructs. By recognizing the role of our own subjective interpretations in scientific knowledge, we can approach it with a healthy dose of skepticism and critical thinking. We can question the prevailing paradigms and theories, allowing for scientific progress and the refinement of our understanding. Marsilius' philosophy encourages us to be open-minded and to continually seek new knowledge, understanding that our perceptions are not fixed but subject to change and improvement. In our daily lives, Marsilius' philosophy prompts us to be aware of the mental constructs we use to interpret the world. It reminds us that our understanding is not absolute and that different individuals may have different interpretations based on their own mental frameworks. By embracing this perspective, we can foster empathy and understanding, respecting the diversity of viewpoints and experiences that contribute to our collective understanding. 
Marsilius, a brilliant philosopher of his time, embraced a unique perspective on the nature of knowledge and the workings of the universe. As an empiricist, he believed that knowledge could be attained through sensory experience, but he also recognized the validity of a priori truths in the pursuit of scientific understanding. One particular aspect of Marsilius' philosophy that garnered attention was his rejection of the Aristotelian theory of impetus. In contrast to Aristotle's belief that forces were inherent to objects, Marsilius proposed that forces were actually the transfer of a certain property from the object causing the effect to the object being affected. This idea challenged the established norms and opened up new avenues for scientific inquiry. Marsilius' revolutionary thinking extended beyond the realm of physics. In his exploration of the natural world, he drew upon ancient experiments involving the clepsydra, a water clock, to support his belief in the fundamental principle that nature abhors a vacuum. These experiments demonstrated that when a vacuum was created within the clock, the surrounding water rushed in to fill the void, indicating a natural aversion to emptiness. The concept of nature's aversion to a vacuum held profound implications for understanding the world around us. Marsilius argued that just as nature strives to fill empty spaces, so too should we strive to fill our lives with purpose and meaning. He saw emptiness as a void that could lead to stagnation and despair, and he advocated for a proactive approach to life, encouraging individuals to seek fulfillment and avoid complacency. In today's fast-paced and often chaotic world, Marsilius' philosophy can serve as a guiding principle for navigating the challenges of daily life. By embracing the idea that nature abhors a vacuum, we are reminded of the importance of actively pursuing our passions, nurturing our relationships, and finding meaning in our actions. Marsilius' wisdom reminds us that a life filled with purpose and fulfillment is one that resonates with the natural order of the universe. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.